I'm John Yash. I'm an engineer producer in here in Nashville. Started in um, 78 in Detroit. The Beatles were on the Ed Sullivan Show. And for some reason, I got the bug, had to pick up a guitar, you know, like everyone else. And so while I was in the band, we, re we did some recording sessions and I realized I really like being on the other side of the glass better than being a performer. After the bands broke up and I got out of that, I started recording at home on my four track Tascam. I started listening to Alan Parsons and I realized that the engineer and the producer had a lot to do with the sound. So I went to the Recording Institute of America to learn how to record. The guys I learned from were all Motown guys. And uh, after about three months of taking these classes and hanging out with these guys, they hired me at this recording studio. It was more of an R&B based studio and um, George Clinton, Parliament Funkadelic worked there, and Bootsy Collins, uh, Sly Stone. <clears throat> so I was fortunate enough to be in the middle of a period of music in Detroit that was all about funk. <laughs> so we got down to the roots of, of music, to so drum and bass. Some a and people from Nashville came to Detroit to work with me on some projects. And one of, the, one of these A&R guys brought me to Nashville. We did a session here. It was a gospel session. It was for a group called Commissioned. But while I was at the studio, Barry Beckett was in there working with Leonard Skinner. And then another group, Take Six, was in another room. And I was in another room. And we all hung out in the lobby and I thought, man, this is the place to be. Nashville is happening. You know, D Detroit was getting old. So, moved to, moved to Nashville about a year later, after my second daughter was born, by the way. Family's really important. <laughs> Just remember that, kids. <laughs> um, so anyways, we moved to Nashville and uh, started doing a lot of contemporary Christian music and gospel music, and then started doing country music. And probably one of the biggest breaks I had in country was uh, working with John Michael Montgomery and Billy Ray Cyrus and Mark Bright, a whole group of musicians, Dan Hoff, and, uh, and we did a lot of country music in the uh, mid 90s and a lot of country dance mixes with Steve Keller and Wynn Jackson. Went out to LA and worked with Kirk Franklin and since then I've done about five albums with him. That was a significant change. Went from country music back to my roots of R&B and gospel and started doing Kirk Franklin and then done like, I don't know, I don't know, 100 gospel records with different artists like that. One of my favorite and least favorite moments are the same. Uh, it was a session with Sly Stone in Detroit that lasted about 16, 17 hours. And uh, <clears throat> uh, Sly uh, had a serious drug problem at the time, but he was still creative. <laughs> But uh, he was very demanding, and he did all the instruments himself. And he would go from uh, jamming in the control room with his Fender Rhodes uh, and a vocal mic with a click track to play, picking up a guitar and immediately wanting to overdub the guitar within seconds of recording his keyboard part, <clears throat> which he would yell out, loop that part, loop that part right now. So we can turn this into a song, and then we have to transfer the, the, six, the eight, 16 bars to another 24 track, create a, a loop, and then he'd start overdubbing guitar, and then he'd wildly run out into the studio and record drums, and then come in and play bass. And this would happen in 10 minute periods because <clears throat> he had a, this drug problem, so he needed to stay high. So anyways, it was, it was a nightmare session because it lasted so long, but it was fun. <laughs> You know, always try to keep an open mind, learn about different styles of music, always try to go for the best fidelity, uh, and, and just be personable in the studio. The technical stuff will come. You'll figure that out. You'll figure out the technical, but it's the people skills that you have to have in order to survive. 
I'm John Yash, and I'm a member of the AES.